When you first came, what what like really motivated you to start coming to Nafjee? Actually, when I knew about Abacus, which was happening with Matt Genie, I went online, I was doing the research like a year earlier. Like I wanted Vivan not only to learn about the maths, but able to do it mentally. Right. Not like 2 plus 2 is 4 means how it's 4. He right. needs to know that, the reason behind it. Right. I didn't want him to just mug it up altogether, but try to understand right. that thing and the before going to India, that's when I got to know about Matt Genie and that's when I had called to enroll him and that's when he had started, like in July when he came right. from India right. and I knew he was far behind to where he, he is right now. It's right. like I myself, he challenges like multiplication, addition, subtraction, he's a lot of improvement I've seen. Right. So like when you first came, he basically he was he wasn't behind in school, but he wasn't where Vivan should be. Yeah, he it was, wasn't his own he was always meeting the grade level. Right. But it was never that I could hear from the teacher like, oh, wow, he's doing excellent or something. And maths is something I wanted the basic to be stronger. And for basic to be stronger, I really liked Abacus program right. overall, what it taught the kids. And I think because of the Abacus that did work, he was able to uh, enjoy more maths then she's getting frustrated you know calculating in his head okay 10 minus 12 or something like 12 minus 11 how i'm gonna get an answer he would like i had seen him struggling uh -huh. in three digits four digits i could see him but not anymore i don't see that right or because for his homework i had to daily used to tell him already like vivan you have to study you have your test or practice every day. Nowadays, we have to tell him stop practice. It's like this. Uh, that's the difference. Right. It's now whenever he uh, free time, he's just doing maths. Um, so what do you think uh, was the biggest difference between them and now? What, what changed? Change was now he's able to solve problems on his own. Earlier he needed, he, uh, needed like him to guide him how things has to be done, what does he think, he didn't have that confidence mm. but with the beads, the way they work, the system, the way it works, I think that built the confidence in him. He could visualize the beads in his head mm -hmm. and that's where the whole thing, I started seeing the difference. Right, yes. Um, so what do you think would be the, uh, what worked and what didn't work? Didn't work is difficult because uh, it's nothing like that didn't work for him. Maybe I think I think yeah. what I've heard like from feedback from his teacher is thing he needs more practicing on the word problems I guess mm. that's where I have seen like his homeworks and he all rushes problems. now like a couple of things is one he tries to sometimes rush try to do it quicker yeah. so then he makes silly mistakes mm. and I've seen on the homeworks like in school mm. other thing is the word problems sometimes he might get confused with long word problems. Otherwise, everything else, what I've seen, like fractions, multiplication, addition, is pretty good. When we ask questions, we can look at his work from Mad Genie and school, it's pretty good. Like, uh, and with the, with the word problems, right? It was, that was something that, like, when you, again, when you originally came, he was also struggling a little bit with those. Oh, yeah. Um, has he made any improvements with that? Yes, or? definitely. Definitely. That's when, that's, like, when he started, he was struggling a lot. Was come. Like literally, I would have to st sit with him for hours to make him understand my addition, subtraction when it comes, what means when you did a question which says it's minus or like you know, and that's why he used to struggle a lot. Like he couldn't explain it how he would write a whole story on it, but teachers didn't want story, they want the mathematical way of explanation, which he was lacking. Right. Of the things that we did, what do you think is the best thing we did and what do you think we can do to improve? His best thing is like the feedback we can receive and what we hear. We, we ask him every time how how he's doing, uh, what he's learned. Like we always ask him also like what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. And then best thing is I guess he's got, maybe he has uh, got a lot of interest now. Right. I think, Max is uh, my favorite subject, but I'm then seeing that he all really, really enjoys Max. 
and maybe because of this class that's he's really enjoyed but he looks forward to like exams and homeworks and everything earlier he would struggle to have a maths test he would be like really right. i have seen him like struggling something like approach. he didn't want to look look at yeah, but i think the bead system the abacus beads the way they were right. that really was the plus point and like he still now if i tell him he can visualize the whole thing now he's learning in abacus um, multiplications now he's able to even do that he tells me 150 times 25 you know what it is maybe he's able to visualize the beads yeah better. visualization is uh, really very powerful because when, what, when you visualize what happens is you're using more of your brain horsepower than you would in the regular you know yeah. brain domain. that's the whole uh, idea about the program um other question I have is, uh, you had mentioned that he won an award in the school. Was yes. The school? What yes. It is a principal recognition award. It's like being, he's never got that award ever. It right. was the first time and he came and he told us that it's a principal recognition award mm -hmm. for being a good student mm -hmm. academically as well as being a, like in school. In the class, behaving himself, okay, not like <laughs> yeah. in the past. Yeah, <laughs> but I found him disciplined more with the when he started Abacus. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Mad Genie. I've seen a lot of difference with him. Yeah, because what we also do is uh, our classroom is very structured. Yes. We, our main goal is uh, one of the things is we want to develop. We want them to develop good habits mm -hmm. and develop a consistent routine. So that's why that. And that I would really thank uh, Miss Vivian for it. Like she's. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's yes, she's she's yes, yes. But he, he definitely yeah. like when he sits down, he'll do all his homework, and right. then do whatever he wants to. But yeah, so he has set us his routine. You don't have to tell him. He'll just no, go in his room and just do his right, work. Right. Even for any test, we I don't have to say like, it. is this is like a new behavioral change or something? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's okay. it's not only just maths, but general in science. Reading everything, I'm seeing a lot of improvement because when I read about Matt Genie Abacus program and how you all do the curriculum, it did say it's not only about maths but overall grasping how the so that really showed it. When I, I so, say whatever, when you first uh, came to our website and you saw all the promises that we made, yeah, how would you how much have we fulfilled? The other things that we said, we claim a bunch of things over there. Yes, yes. Like how much do you think is actually in your experience? You would say in his with works? him, like he still does a lot of silly mistakes. I would mm -hmm. say like 90, 95 percent is definitely clear. the way. Yeah, because uh, that was my main reason I uh, joined when I looked at mm -hmm. the website. I think we definitely reviewed. compared other like um, mm -hmm. Kumar and, and uh, yeah. this other. But we thought like Kumar I didn't like more, we didn't like the way they do the, the structure. Did you have like, any or you just checked? No, 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 we, no, we know no, a couple of friends, kids, they go yeah. to Kumon. Right. Uh, but when I read like online review, Kumon versus Mad Genie, because I knew a lot of our friends, kids, mm. they are going to Kumon. Mm. So I wanted to compare because mm. Mad Genie was something, a backers program is something not all my friends in our group. Right. They like they have enrolled their kids in. I realized that Abacus is something, it's not like, it helps in, uh, how do I explain, not just with maths but with algebra, geometry, later on. It's something the child doesn't have to mug up. Like I found that in, uh, at Kumon, like 12 times 2 is 24, that's it. But how? You don't know. With, but with Abacus I know how, like with the beats, the way they work. Yeah. Right, so you look at like a better counting beads, yes, 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 yes. Right, and then I, I mean, that's definitely like with the common core stuff. That's so important because if you can't understand, yes. you don't, yep. you, well, you can't just regurgitate information. You need to really understand it. So, yes. um, in comparison to to the other kids that you have in your friend group and like whatnot, how is Yvonne doing with his math in comparison <laughs> to others? Oh, he like when are my friends are my like, brother and they ask questions. <laughs> answer he wants to just answer first and he's very quick he will right. like others are waiting to answer thinking about it he'll be very quick and then because he'll see, just that is mugging up like you have been told like you know right. practicing numbers 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 this is all all mental so he, he's pretty he looks forward he enjoys those games and all perfect that. Mm -hmm. So he is doing a lot better with speed. We've noticed that as well. You know, we monitor that very closely. Um, and then just going over his common core assessments. I'm looking at the scores that he was getting. 
So the very in the very beginning, right, when he first finished his yes. first book, we're still at an 80%. Mm -hmm. And then we went up to 100. We're at 95 right now. So we're seeing, we, like, I'm seeing, okay, you know, statistically, there's at least, <coughs> at least a 10%, 15% percent Oh, yes, I do, drop. because right, uh, recently, like, Brevan was, had mentioned to you as well, right, he was the only student in his class to get EG. Right. The, oh, in the math, math book. That, yeah. yeah, that's what we're For doing. his third grade, in his class, they had a maths test. Right. And he was the only student who got, uh, in his class, EG. EG, that's right. Right. And so he's, the common core, you're seeing the results in school. Oh, yeah, because earlier he would, like, you know, get MG, and very rare he would get AG. MG was meeting the grade level. That's where he would get right. always. And what is AG? AG is average. Average. Is and EG is excellent. Exceeding. Uh, Exceeding, yeah. Got it. Okay. So okay. Is, MG is better than AG, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Right. Okay, right. Oh. Yes, definitely. So EG, AG. And yeah, AG, MG, and EG. And if lower than AG, then and, and if it, even if he is getting AG, that is also a big concern. Then that's where the parents are like being called and being told by the teacher, like he's just struggling. So you're saying that in his class, he's the only one who got an EG. Yeah, so at least that. That's one, what, of the, uh, one of the tests. I guess one overall, we do not know like who. Right, right. For that matter. Overall, so. teacher says he is one. But of yeah, the he good says students math, yes. math. His spelling right. is. Very good. He's one of the good students in spelling as well in his. So parents who are, who might be uh, watching this video, right? Uh, who don't know anything about the program? Um, what would you tell them? Well, yeah, the, it's def definitely very good program, um, especially for kids who maybe initially are struggling, hmm. uh, and this is the time or age when if you can build on the foundation, and right. then you need to understand. Without the core maths and foundation, you cannot uh, succeed in the future. Right. And maths, like the way the like the industry everywhere outside, you see maths is very important key to everything. Right. And that's why this is the right time to uh, build on the foundation. And of course, there are different programs, but we definitely like Math Genie program compared to others. Uh, right. The type of curriculum they have, mm -hmm. the way it's taught, uh, right. some maybe like it's a little different than what we learn. Right. But definitely, I see some quick ways, easy ways to understand and fun ways to understand. Right. So that's what I would suggest like definitely to try. When my aunt, she came from India over here to visit us and that's the time I had enrolled Vivaan in the mm. uh, Magini program and I told her and she was surprised and she was like, you know what, this was the program. They were looking at them when we were kids, oh. but they didn't know how Abacus worked. Right. Because that time there were no school no for school for Abacus, right. and they were like, "This is a very good program to go in for because here the child is not mugging up, right. but learning and mentally, and it's like for longer life, throughout the life, it's like it's for not longer. like something. Right. That's what I read in the review as well. Like after right. fifth grade or something, it stops, right? The Marjini. The the reason we stop is uh, uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, reason number one is that. Uh, after fifth grade, the, the fifth or sixth grade, the child is like maybe uh, uh, 11, 12 years old. The brain's ability to function or learn new things, that goes down. Yeah. I'll give you an example. For example, if you have to learn a new language, like for him, right? Um, you want to teach him a new language, yeah, he'll learn, he'll he'll learn, learn it. It. You want to teach him Chinese, French, yeah, yeah. whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Language doesn't matter. He'll learn it in a heartbeat, right? Yeah. yeah what you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, but as we get older, like our age, True. but even after when you are 12, 13 years old, it becomes harder and harder because we don't have as many brain cells as what I've And the brain is rigid. This is how I want yeah, to do yeah. yeah. Definitely just, like with my younger one, I will enroll at like three and a half or four. Yeah, you should, you should. But also, you know, other than us, enroll him, whatever you enroll, whatever you think that he might be interested in. Enroll them in everything because that's the time the brain is yeah. going the most. No, but Matt Ginny, that's when I knew about it and when I right. read. I, re I used to always tell Vivan, I wish I knew about this program earlier for him, but like I keep saying, better late than never. No, no, but he's still at the good Yeah, age. yeah, he's that's why I was like, yeah, when I read, did. like after, right. when I read the review, I said, this is the right age. Right. I have to put him then, the more later I'll do then. Because we just had a, a graduation a few days back. Yeah, he and told us. One of our first graduates okay. from the first batch. He was, he's in ninth grade now. Okay. He was there in that and his younger uh, brother was graduating. Okay. And it's amazing what uh, he's doing now. He's again all, EG, he's on all EGs, he's at the top of his class. 
Okay. So that, as you said, you know, these are the basic skills. They'll continue on so for, you know, for the life. Yeah, and also the discipline to. aspect, the routine. Yeah. They get used to that. Otherwise, if, right. otherwise it's like free form. Like they wish they <laughs> do whatever they want. So definitely with the routine hmm. and uh, structure, I guess, they can use that in other areas as well. Other yeah. subject as well. Basically, one's attention. Yes. We know, we know you're here. I know. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name, Vedant? <laughs> What's your name, Vedant? It's like Vasanti Chavaran. Look, look. Okay. Anything, any suggestions you have that we may, uh, that you might want to bring to our attention that we should be looking at? Maybe I'm interested in, like, I've spoke, like, I know someone, one of my relatives, whose kid really excelled. He, he used to go to Mans Olympiad and mm. now he's Stanford. Mm. Or he said, like, of course, he used to build on the basic maths yeah. and then go into advanced math. So I don't know if you do have advanced math or should he do, like, I, I know he's still young, huh. but then maybe if he is good, I would like definitely want to see if Banshee would. Some more advanced some math. Kind of, kind of, kind yeah, so what we, we, right now, what we've done in the, over the last two, three years is we've added the common core, uh, which is the state requirement up to sixth grade. Okay. Um, seventh grade, actually. Seven. We have to seventh grade. Um, and that's, by that time, all the basic building blocks of math are built. Okay. You got algebra covered, you got uh, all the pre algebra and all those things there. Okay. After that, um, it's up to you. You can size okay. the limit. You okay. can take it because we 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 would have made sure that his basic basic, is, okay. basic uh, fundamentals are all uh, mm. set. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and one of the things you'll notice, not now, but let's say when he goes to fifth grade, sixth grade, and you compare him with other kids, other fifth graders, sixth graders. What's going to happen is that a sixth grader will try to solve the same algebra problem, and Vivan will solve it. It's he'll do it in like a fraction of the time because the other kids they just want uh, uh, like for example you have an al algebraic equation now you solve it now you got like a fraction now you got to simplify it right. mm. so now they can't simplify because they don't know their times tables or they don't know how to divide or they don't know yes. mental math so they'll get stuck there Big our time. kids just go through them yeah. you just have to show them once hey yeah. this is how you do it and that's yeah, why I, that's saw, why I, like I, it I saw a few of your videos on the huh. Mad Genie website, like for the few kids regarding like what happens after the fifth grade. I think I saw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. And, and that's why, like, that. because I know, at least in the US, maybe now in India as well, kids try to use calculator very quickly. And oh, yeah. I want to, and since you don't let yeah, them use that, they're, that they're, they're learning to use different, the better ways. So I would definitely. Mind should be a calculator. Basically, yeah. I am. Telling you, mark my words, and uh, you have me on camera. Mark my words. Many of these school districts are giving Chromebooks and iPads. Yes. In the yes. Yes. Mark my words. Watch those kids after 10, 15 years. They'll be, they'll be in a huge problem because yeah, their mind the uh, doesn't has not developed Correct. thinking skills. Correct. Yeah. Because you're having a computer do things for you. Yes. Yes. Um, and also the, because the uh, the best tools for thinking is pencil and paper. Correct. Uh, I agree. Right? I agree. So that's going to be a big problem. And also with these tools, the kids are used, their attention span and focus is going down. Yes. yes. So that's going to be a huge, huge problem. Just and we, we never learned to use the same, same. So One yeah. of the things that like, I can attest to is what I was studying for my SATs when I was in high school. Um, and I was like not doing great on the math section, and then the tutor I had took away my calculator, and I jumped like a hundred points because I stopped making calculator mistakes. Correct. Yeah, you, yeah, so you, you tend to make mistakes. You are yes. Understand. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah that makes a big difference. This was also the main reason because before joining Imagine, this is what Vivan would do. He would just go pick up from the storage a calculator. And to finish up his homework, he will calculate, and that's how he would give me. Oh. First, I'm like, how are you doing it? And that's how I thought. I'm like, you know what? This is not the right way. He's just trying to sneak it. Yeah. But yeah. now he doesn't need it. He just right. uses no, it. I'm not it. against them using computers. So if you want, like, if you want, there are all kinds of online courses. Yes. If you want to teach him coding, that's not a problem. That's great, actually. But don't, don't let it be a consumption device. Don't let him um, consume information from there 
let him go to the library, get a book and read a book. Correct. That's that's would be my advice. So there are like I think he, how old is he now? Eight. 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 Yeah, so there are courses now that, uh, that he, you can teach him coding if you want. So you can open up the computer and there are, you know, uh, HTML, CSL, JavaScript, things like that. Schools in China are starting coding. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Yeah. So coding is like a basic fundamental skill, mm. no matter what you do. Yeah, there's, there's this le robotics Lego um, mm. program where kids learn to do some basic programming and create robots using Lego. Yeah, yeah. So you can do all of that, but uh, definitely don't let them use computers yeah. to consume information. Yes, yes that is yes, a problem, yes. I think. Yes, we should be I reading books. Yes, yes, definitely. Like with the paper. <laughs> yes, finally. Okay. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank really you. Appreciate it. <laughs>